What is up my dudes, Kevin here, and we are back with a brand new Red Dead Online video, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a brand new money making method or route, whatever you want to call it, where you guys are going to be able to make some pretty decent money, and we're going to combine the different methods into one, so it's going to be pretty good guys, if this is helpful or you enjoy it, you guys know the deal, drop a like down on the video, comment down below what kind of methods have you been doing, what kind of routes have you been using, there's an unlimited amount of possibilities that you can do pretty much, so other than that guys, subscribe, and let's get right on into it. Alright everybody, so... To start this off, the first thing you want to do is come on over to the right of Valentine in this area. And that is because we're going to need a deer. We're going to need multiple things for this method. But the first part we're going to grab is the deer. And you can get them in this spot pretty easily. So let me go ahead and get one of them bad boys. All right. Now, honestly, the quality of the deer does not matter. So literally just blast one whenever you see him. We're going to throw him on our horse. Then we'll head back into Valentine to get the second thing we need for this method. So let me grab this bad boy right here. All right, while we're heading over there, guys, one of the good parts about this method is going to be that it's in an area that's not too populated at the moment. As you guys probably know, tumbleweed is popping off right now. Everybody's down there farming those fishes and whatnot. So this area is pretty empty, and you guys aren't going to have too much problem with griefers. You should be good to go. If, if you do have problems, you guys know the deal. Spawn into a different area, then go to the spot, and you guys should be chilling. So here we are in Valentine. Now what you want to do when you get to Valentine is ride up and down these roads. So go this way. Pop a little left right here. And you're gonna be on the lookout for a bucket cart which are very easy to get in valentine that is why we're starting here so let me show you guys what i'm talking about what these carts look like so there we go that's the car i'm talking about guys the bucket car right here now we want to keep our horse with us so what you want to do is you can just honestly jump on his wagon jack that thing. get off my horse take this bad boy and we're gonna be on our way call your horse so he follows you just whistle him you guys are set so once you have your cart we're gonna want to head on over here to this lake right here Owan Hila. now the reason we didn't start in strawberry because like i said is valentine's the best place to get these carts you have the most luck and strawberry can take a while and blackwater can take a while so your best bet is just to start in valentine all right once you guys get here bring your cart on down here to this spot right here near the beginning of this lake go ahead and make sure you park your cart near you as you don't want it to disappear on you as you guys look here let me take out my fishing rod you're going to see a whole bunch of fish in this area this place is loaded with two, well, the two main fish we're going to go after, salmon and pikes. As you can see here, there's also a bunch of small fish here as well, which we can grab and stock up on. But if you look here to our left, there's a huge amount of these pikes, muskies, salmons, which we're going to be going after. This is a ton in this location. Now, there's two ways we can go about this. The first way being, you could simply fish. Well, I'll just show you guys here. Go ahead and use a river lure or a lake lure. And if you guys have the special lure, obviously use that because you're going to catch them a lot quicker. And then there's also a second method I'm going to show you guys, which is actually a lot more efficient, but requires a little secret item that you guys may or may not have. So let's reel this bad boy on in. And there we go. On my second cast, I was able to catch one. So not that bad, pretty fast, but it can be a little more efficient. So let me reel this guy in, see what we got here. Looks like we have, I believe this is a pike. Can't see yet. Now, quick tip for you guys while you're fishing. You want to pump your rod as you saw me doing by flicking down on your left analog stick. And that will help bring the fish in quicker. So as you guys can see, we got a muskie here. Correction, we're going for the muskies, not pikes. I'm not sure why I said that earlier. So we're going to keep this bad boy, of course. We got a three star. And we're going to go ahead and put him right by our wagon. Now, let me move my wagon a little closer. He's kind of far away. I don't want him to run off or disappear on us. But now that you guys see the, you know, the basic method that you guys all know about, let me go ahead and show you guys the method that I like to use, which is super effective, and it's just a lot funner. Now, I'm sure you guys know about the whole deer carcass method where you put it in the water, the fish come on over, and they die because it's shallow. Now, this is a great fishing spot. There's a bunch of fish here, but it's not shallow enough for that particular technique to work. But what does work is they will still get attracted to the deer, and we're going to use a different method to kill them. So let me drop them on in. Make sure he's not too deep in where he starts going down the river like this. He's probably a little too deep. Let me bring him in. Kind of want him half and half. That should work. If not, guys, just readjust the deer until the fish start coming over. Now, once you find the right spot, you're going to notice a whole bunch of fish are going to start swimming over to the deer. And actually, it seems one of them actually killed their self. So I, uh, I guess the spot kind of works. Sort of, kind of. But not always. As you see, we have these two still in the water. So what you guys want to do at this point is is use the secret weapon I was talking about. So let me grab it actually from my horse right here. And you guys want to grab your bow and you're going to make use of these arrows. So let me change the arrow. You notice here I have these small game arrow guys, which are actually very easy to make. 
and you can buy the recipe for these at the fence and i actually think it's really worth the investment as you can make use of them and you can just recycle the arrows grab them over and over you don't have to make a whole bunch of them so i definitely think it's worth the investment guys you can make your money back pretty quickly but uh once you have them all you do is pop Okay, well, that, that works out even better. At this point, let me show you guys. The fish is still going to be in perfect condition. Still a three-star. We're going to pick him up. We're going to get our arrow back. And we got a three-star fish. So, grab him. Grab the other one that swam up on shore. And already, that's three perfect salmon. I'm going to readjust the deer. Get some of these bigger fish to swim in. So, I can show you guys that as well. And I don't know about you guys, but that is significantly faster than fishing all three salmon. We literally just got three salmon in a matter of seconds. All we did was drop the deer in the water, three swam up, and we shot them with the bow. And well, actually, we, shot, we only shot one. The other one just <laughs> the other one just killed itself on shore. So let's do this again. Hopefully, get some big ones heading over this time. So it looks like we found the sweet spot again. Just work this whole little coastline uh, right behind this river. There's uh, tons of fish throughout here. And again, guys, we're just gonna shoot them. Here we go. Bop. Pick up the arrow that we just lost. Pick up the fish. There we go. Now at this point, you just walk back away from the deer and they'll start coming again or just readjust it if they don't and they'll start coming again. You can just shoot them back to back to back. Already, we got one heading back over. So again, let's go ahead and shoot them once they stay still. And a bop, just like that. There's another one right there. So they pretty much come continuously. So another thing you can do, guys, if you want to let them build up is just fish. While you're waiting for them to build up so you can catch some muskies while you're waiting for the salmon to come. Now, muskies also do come to the deer. You just have to find the right spot. A good way to do that is simply just use your eagle eye and see where they are. See, I have a lot of salmon in this area. The muskies are up there, so maybe I should move the uh, deer back up there to get the muskies in a second. But I guess we could just bang out these uh, salmons first. So here we go. We got some of the big boys heading over this time. Again? Oh, I missed that one. Crap. Here we go. Looks like we got a shot of redemption. He's coming back. He couldn't resist. Again, these big boys, they'll die to these. Okay, as I was saying, time to redeem myself. There we go. So the small arrows work on these big boys as well. Pick them on up. Just drop them on by our cart. Now, you don't want to fill the cart up until you have all the fish that you want. Because when you fill the cart up with these fish, it tends to glitch at times. So what you want to do is stock up all the fish that you want first. And then when you're ready to go, load up your cart and head on out. And there's also a little trick you guys want to do when you're unloading the cart. I'll show you guys later on. All right. So, so far, we got three muskies pretty easily. And I believe we have a full batch of salmon from doing this method. Yeah, we have a full batch of salmon. If you guys want, after you have 10 salmon, and you, if they still keep coming to the deer while you're trying to get some more muskies, what you can do is pull out your varmint rifle and shoot the salmon, which will turn them into a poor sockeye salmon. And they can carry double the amount if you guys want to do that as well. But only do that if there's an abundance of them coming while you're still trying to get muskies. But I think this is about a good amount here. But as you guys can see, there's a whole bunch of muskies. There's a, there's a bunch. I can get, You can get a lot more than three or four. I might as well just grab this guy since he's here. All right, actually, so there's four of them very easily, guys. And over here, I think there's still more fish going on to the deer. Yes, yeah, so we have salmon here and everything. And if you look, there's still a lot of muskies down there. So get whatever amount of fish that you guys are comfortable with. If you see people start showing up in the area, just dip with what you have just to be safe. So I'm going to take these fish back. Actually, I'm going to show you guys how to load up this cart now. Of course, take the deer with you because you can sell this for money as well. Just throw it on your horse. So we're going to go ahead and load up this thing. I got Taco here. Taco just showed up randomly. So we'll load, he's going to help us load it up. All right. So what you guys want to do is back the cart up onto this ridge right here. And you'll be able to walk right on into it just like this, guys. Super, super easy because you cannot jump up to stuff when there's things in your hands. So you want to back it on up into something. Actually, has to back it up a little more. There we go. Now, once you're in there, find the sweet spot. And you can be able to drop it right on in just like that, guys, without problems. All right. So at this point, hop on your wagon, guys. Make sure you tell your horse to follow you. And you're good to go. Once you're at the butchers, guys, you want to start unloading your fish from the wagon. I already got one of them. So let's just keep going until you have all of them. Drop these bad boys on down. Like I said, do them all at the same time. Because if you don't, some of them will disappear out of the wagon occasionally. But not always. I did lose one of the fish. I kind of, uh, I kind of almost crashed the wagon and it went flying out. I'm not too worried about the fish, though. I just left it behind for time's sake. I'm running short on time. But... Be careful when you're driving the wagon, guys. Take it slow. Don't do what I did. 
So here's what we got on the trip. We got 10 salmon, which go for $250 each. Great, great money. That's $25 right there. Super good. So sell those. Now, if you guys went ahead and did the poor salmon method that I said, you get a dollar for the poor ones, which is still good. And if you got 10 of these, that's an extra 10. So that would be 35 bucks for you guys. Pretty good as well. Now we got the poor deer carcass, which is a little beat up from all the, you know, what I did to it. If you shot it with the bow, you're going to get more than this. But 280 not bad. Sell that. You get the pelt as well. Pretty much a dollar. Not bad. Now the muskies go for $7.75 each. I got four of those, so that's about 28 plus 7 uh, 30 bucks about. That's good money for four of them. If you guys get more than that, that's good as well. So in total, you guys are looking at $50 plus. Anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks, depending on what you get. Did I not just sell? Did I not just sell the musky? There we go. That was weird. Okay, anyways. Like I said, guys, you can get some big money from doing this. So I highly, highly recommend that you guys give this a try. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what other spots you find. And uh, I'm going to finish selling these fish. And I hope this was helpful. If it was, drop a like on the video. Comment down below what other methods you guys have been using. And uh, other than that, I'll see you all next time for a brand new video. Peace.